Hey everybody, it got a little chilly last night, so it's about time to get close time to fire up the wood stove. And uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking this fall because I uh, haven't been having trouble finding a good supplier for wood. The guy who used to bring my wood retired last year, so I need to find a new supplier. And I got to thinking about how much of a pain in the butt it has been getting wood from my shed out back in here in the dead of winter, especially when there's snow on the ground, about I had a heart attack last year pushing a wheelbarrow through the snow. So I got to thinking about maybe I ought to get a pellet stove, a lot more convenient. I can put pellets in the uh, basement in the garage and I can go down and get pellets whenever I need them. A lot better than pushing a wheelbarrow full of wood through the snow. So I didn't really want to get rid of my wood stove because it's a nice one and it uh, does a great job and I really like burning firewood. So I've come up with a solution, I think. We're going to test it out and see. I got myself a pelletier pellet basket. It goes in the wood stove and you burn pellets in it. So we're going to test this out and see how it works. If it goes okay, then I think I'm going to uh, do that. I'll get a pallet full of pellets for this winter and we'll see how it does. So follow along and <laughs> let's let the adventure begin. <laughs> Okay, so here is the uh, Pelletier pellet basket. They have three sizes. Uh, this is the medium size. It's 15 inches long by nine inches deep, I think it is. But it's 15 wide because it just barely fit in the door. I got a 16 inch opening and uh, it fit in there. So it's slanted towards the front so it's easy to refill, which is nice. So I'm gonna fill this up about halfway. Um, I'm not gonna fill it all the way. I'm gonna fill about halfway up and we're gonna give us a test run see what kind of heat we produce and uh, time how long it's going to take it to burn out. And um, tested two different types of pellets too, or two different brands of pellets. They're both all hardwood premium pellets, uh, low moisture, low ash. We'll see. Um, it's my local guy that I get them from at a pretty reasonable price, so let's see how they do. And uh, I'll be right back and I'll start filling up. to do for a good test. See how that does. See if we can get it to start. See if they ignite. Yeah, they say to, to feed it or to light it from the top, not the bottom. you can see or not but the pellets on the left of the block and in front of the block are starting to ignite it's been about 12 minutes since I started it well as you can see it's been 25 minutes the block is out and I have some pellets smoldering. And my draft is open all the way. So the block method is not, in my opinion, the best way to light these things. Unless it will take off from there. It's still smoking. And I still see some uh, sparks going on down there. So we'll see if they do their job. If maybe that's what they're supposed to do. I'm not sure. I don't see any flame.
Yep, we'll see. We'll let it go. That's been, like I said, uh, 25 minutes since I let it. The top of the stove actually is starting to warm, believe it or not. Not enough to turn my fan on yet, but just that little bit is giving me some heat. run the whole time so I'll come back and turn it on in a little bit and we'll see what we got. Alright, been 34 minutes. Uh, it's just smoldering in the one spot in the center. I mean they are hot, they are burning, so I'm gonna try to get a little head start here. I'm gonna put it in a sheet of paper and light it. I don't know if it's gonna do anything. We'll try. I think next test I'm going to use is gel, and we'll give that a try. See if that does any better. Looks like that may have done it. Because that's just pellets burning now. back in a bit and check our progress it's burning all right 40 minutes in and uh fire still kicking off but look at that my fans turning so the stove's heating up so far so good we'll uh, come back in a bit all right we are just about one hour in it's finally burning pretty good um, the stove is hot now, uh, putting out some heat. So we'll see how long this burns. It's uh, been one hour, so we'll check back next hour. A uh, brief update, uh, one hour and 20 minutes in. And uh, we're fully lit across the whole top. Burning really good, putting out a good bit of heat. I'm gonna cut back my damper about halfway. And uh, see what we got. Cause based on what I'm looking at, we might have another hour left of uh, burnable pellets. But we'll see. So far, I'm pretty pleased once I finally got it going. <laughs> Two hours in and our pellets are about burned out on top. Um, not super impressed with how long they lasted, but I didn't fill the basket, so it's two hours. And uh, put in a little bit of heat, not a whole lot. That's about it for that test. Here's a little update. Uh, I burned this 
for about seven hours. I refilled it two more times last night and let it just go. And uh, that's what's left. A little bit of ash in the bottom left over. Pen wood pellet test, full basket. Just lit. So far, I can tell you right now, it ignited faster than the Hallmarks did. I'm hoping that it puts out more heat. The Hallmark was not sufficient in its BTU. So let's see how we do with this one. It is 10 minutes in. So, an hour and a half in, and uh, this uh, these pellets are definitely different. They produce a lot more heat than the Hallmarks did. These are the Pinwoods. And uh, it burns from the bottom, too. Look at that. It's going to burn them all up. And uh, I'm much happier with this pellet than the first one. Um, I could probably get through the winter with this heat. It's uh, shooting it out pretty good. Big difference in uh, the burning. There's less ash with the uh, penwood than there was with Hallmark, so I'm happy with that. I'm gonna burn through some more and uh, might try one more brand. I got my eye on. Hey everybody, so I finally settled on the Penwood. Uh, they put out good heat and burned very well and they lit a lot easier than the, uh, the Hallmarks did. I tried another brand that Lowe's carried and uh, they were kind of in between the two of them, but I went in and settled on these. I got a pallet, uh, 50, 40 pound bags, bumped myself a trash can to keep them in so I can just come down and scoop my bucket uh, full of pellets. And that's what we went with, so let's see what happens this winter. <laughs>